Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a builder vlog-ish of sorts. Today it's a tournament breakdown of robot fighters that I entered with Wallop. Uh, so today we'll be going over the fights that we have and um, I just bang through a break one of it. And so what I'll do is, uh, you know, after this intro, you'll see I'll do the first fight. I can fight however many fights we had and go over them. And so with that being said, let's kick it off with our first fight against Adhara 3, the front hinge flipper. Oh, and uh, as you notice, I did drive this tournament. And, um, well, internet issues are a thing. So if you notice the intermittent drive, well, that's why. Um, good job, Parson. But yeah, with that being said, let's break down the first fight. Alright, send it, are you ready? Go I'm just gonna do something else right now. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, Eric, send it when you're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's spin it. There we go. Shit. Damn. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! No. Ten, huh? Nine, eight, seven. Is a knockout, and it was under 30 seconds. Oh, hey, I'm 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 the host. I said it. You guys want to restart? Yes. I'll take the win. Okay. Oh, he, oh, he takes uh, the win. Admittedly, I kind of uh, understand why he takes a win. Yes. Yeah. If you know how strong Atara's flipper is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So did you enjoy that first fight? Kind of quick, wasn't it? So Atara 3 is a front hinge. Flipper, very powerful flipper. It's a has like what three of them, I believe. And so, um, yeah, as you know, it's not much to be said. Um, tactics wise, I didn't spin up the weapon at first because um, I noticed during testing that this front feeder wedge here, where my mouse is, it doesn't actually get underneath everything uh, when it's spinning. And so instead, it works better if it's not spinning and then because there's so much power in the blade uh, when I have the opponents pinned and wedged the punter can just punt things away easier and so yeah I mean not much to be said didn't spin up the weapon first one bad driving error was all it took and we got the Buddha victory um, we could have done a rematch but because of lag issues and that flipper looked very powerful. I chose to just take the win because, yeah, they didn't know how much wins I'll be getting. So uh, we are, we have one win right now in this tournament. Let's go to the next one against Containment Breach. Dance, um, Larry. Send it, baby. He said, send it, baby. Okay. You got Alright, that's about the best part. Yeah, this is the best part of the turn of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, about as thin as a loaf of bread, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. It's also probably because like it doesn't have like the funny like yeah, multiple wilds. Yeah. Yeah, that also that that's kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. That may be a factor. Oh goodness, I regret my decision. I regret. Oh yeah, three, I love 360 lifters. Then make one. I have. I've made multiple 360 lifters. Make another one. I should. <laughs> Oh, Don't let your dreams be dreams. A uh, skewed. A uh, skewed. Here's some advice. When a pin happens, don't count it immediately. Okay. Like, first acknowledge that it's a pin. Like, just a pin, and then start counting. Okay. I'm glad we established that before we got to the shark. 
to go into the hole and see if you can This is probably a pin. This is a pin? Oh. That was a pin, it wasn't moving, but it wasn't over the time at this point. Oh, wow, well, there's a pin in breach. This is a good fight, though. Oh, mm -hmm. and... Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that's you just fucking... There's something in the code. It's just listening. You just go your life. You go life just, like... Like, manually, like, program to get every single frame. Just like, <laughs> okay. It's actually... It's actually synced it up to the R2 yeah, Discord this, server. This so, like, you can't stop it. Yeah, that's Nine, eight, 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 seven. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what we call the Hydra moment. Yeah, you're not <laughs> <laughs> This is a pen. That's how Bob works. Uh oh. That is a pen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Nice shot. Okay, that's a pen. Ten. Oh! Oh, I thought that was Muta Zone for a second. Oh, same. Ten. That's time. Is that four card? GG, good fight. I would like, say that's a scorecard because they're okay, yeah, I got back and forth. I gotta leave I gotta leave for like a few minutes, I'll be back. Alright. Okay. I back to do something of an easy sleeping. Still paying attention, Lars. <laughs> just, just, just concentrating, Lars. Who won? Okay, so for our next fight we did against Containment Breach. Containment Breach was a Rambot front hinge flipper type thing, like um, Stinger, the Killer Bee, or Sewer Snake. Uh, so, yeah, uh, judge's decision loss. I mean, I agree with the decision 100%. I could not get underneath one, partially due to lagging internet issues. Which, that didn't help to drive much, but then, I mean, I just got out driven. Pretty much, the, when the blade was on, the wedge couldn't out wedge. Uh, when the blade was not on, we got moments of 
good hits with the bar, and you know, that's about it. But um, and then it reached dominated, a lot of shoving into the wall, a lot of yeah, control, basically winning grounded, even getting underneath while upside down. You notice that bit. So definitely the ground game is something we're gonna have to work on. The first loss in the tournament. Let's go into the next fight against. I believe it was Bloody Blade. Yeah, I was asking. I didn't receive any answer from Jado. Ben Warren. I can imagine. It hits hard. Oh! Oh, that got scary. Uh, my pants are brown. Nice. Nice. Indeed. Interesting detail. We didn't need it, but we're glad for your uh, contribution. They're, they're brown right now. Oh, nice. They weren't before, but now oh, they are. Oh, they're becoming that color right. Stop. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah. When you said you legs, when you said that was a huge oh. leg spike, your uh, your mic started to die. So I think your internet might be. Uh, I think your internet might be. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think this undercutter would go for It's aluminum with titanium. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not what Yeah, I can see it coming. Especially the cast. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely a good reason why most people uh, do uh, extend boss or whatever. Uh, panel yeah, panel bots. I'm used to call, I'm still kind of used to uh, calling them extendo bots because of. Uh, yeah, for robot yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, 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 You just I noticed. Thanks for noticing. Thanks for noticing, skewed. Uh, you can tell he's paying uh, a lot of attention. It's, it's almost like he lost the crown. <laughs> you should, you no, just got that sky internet, man. I only saw this happen with a bunch of those. Suskeed can't judge. Uh. Oh, oh damn it. I don't need it. <laughs> All right, so as so you can see, we uh, this is our last fight with Wallop. So it was a kind of a pool play where the top two robots with the best records would move on, and sadly, with this loss to Bloody Blade, uh, with the knockout loss, uh, Wallop is eliminated from this tournament. And you know, it was a really good battle. The wedge held up. What didn't hold up was the armament and the. Uh, where is the receiver actually? It's somewhere. Here? There it is, right there where my mouse is. That's where the receiver is. At first, I lost drive on one side. Now, this armor is related to hard ox and titanium. And so that wasn't thick enough armor to hold off against Bloody Blade. Now Bloody Blade again is the undercutter, Valkyrie-esque robot. So essentially you watch Cobalt versus Valkyrie. And so um, yeah, Bloody Blade hits really hard. Went through 5 mil thick hard off, 5 mil thick titanium wasn't enough. And I got compromised one side of the drive, so the one tire popped off. Then this back titanium armor. Female thick titanium was not enough, and it the receiver. I don't know if it hit through the bottom. Oh, sorry, bottom of the machine, or you know, hit right through and snipe through. But whatever the case may be, it was a really good hit, and it knocked Wallop out. This kept spinning, so you know, but we weren't winning. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that'll be some upgrades to note on for next time. If I may get rid of this filter for you. Um, yeah, as you can see though, like, Wallop did what it needed to do when it got the good pop, and it did kind of a, a buzzsaw thing where it hit upward and that just, yeah, popped the upward and hit upward. So that was a really good moment in the match. Um, I thought we could have won that match, um, to be honest with you. Um, but sadly, you know, we did not. Things happen. That's robot combat. You know what I mean? That's robot combat. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely make some upgrades. We'll um, definitely upgrade the side armor a lot. We'll probably do all hard ox next time. And the back will probably do hard ox as well. So probably meaning a very lighter weapon. Um, but I do hope to get a bigger bite on the next improvement. Because I noticed that even with the wedge design, no, the, wedge, the forks designs, the bar wasn't quite getting a lot of bite as well. And this disc in itself, I mean, it's limited bite. I feel like the bite could be a bit bigger. So we'll we'll figure that out uh, for next time. Um, I believe I have to fix the plow or anything. Up front. I believe it is just the we got hit on the sides. So. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely upgrade the armors on the sides and the back. Like, the front is fine for next time. Uh, yeah, we'll also look work on the lower ground gate for next time as well. Uh, well, with that being said, yeah, thank you for Scood uh, for hosting the tournament. Thank you for Rave for the footage and also hosting on Parsec for the tournament. It was very fun. This wallop did a lot better than the first version of wallop. Though we didn't win, I am very proud of it. And we'll just upgrade and keep improving and keep improving and one day we will get that win. So Wallop, you know what? It's becoming one of my favorites. I know it's budget cobalt and whatnot. But hey, you know what? I believe this robot can win a tournament one day. I think you just need to tweak it just a bit more. And I think we'll be right there. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Likes and subscribes are always appreciated. Leave your feedback down below. Uh, what else you would improve and with that being said, I will see you all next time. Bye. -bye.